What's up good people? Welcome back to my channel and in this video specifically I'm targeting a very very important topic so please stay tuned till the end of this video because most likely it's gonna be a longer video and apologize for that in advance okay and this topic is a current thing going on in the scenario of the cardiology that there is a thing called berberine and it reduces the chances or the amount or the quantity of you getting atherosclerotic plaques and my job here in this video is to show you that how it can do that let's talk about it let's show you that what it is doing so berberine it's an extract it's a Chinese traditional herb and it has a lot of benefits for example antimicrobial anti-inflammatory effects on the di digestive system and its underlying anti-cardiovascular disease mechanisms are currently at attracting a lot of attention in the pharmacological world as well as medical world and herbal medicine already appreciated that in the past it also regulates the neurotransmitters and enzymes and cholesterol lowering effects and has got a lot of health benefits from that perspective so that's why I wanted to bring it to the attention of my audience that yes there is a thing called berberine and that's how it does it let's go over it because the recent studies have found out that berberine could inhibit the proliferation and apoptosis of VSMC's induced by the mechanical stress simultaneously and that's how it could be an excellent thing to treat your atherosclerotic plaques and we know that when that plaque builds up in your coronary arteries then there is a chance of getting cardiovascular attack or cardiovascular mortality or myocardial infarction okay uh, because we don't want that blockage that's why we give them stents and that's the benefit that they are thinking about that why not give berberine even to those people who are already those people who got cardiac stents because the thing is stents do block over time and you don't want that so what do you do you give those patients uh, certain medications certain drugs like cholesterol lowering drugs and uh, drugs that keep the blood your thin or called blood thinners for example aspirin and stuff like that so that's the beauty of this medicine or this herb that could come as a potential medicine in the future and that's what they have been working on let me show you the mechanism that how it does that so when you look at the athler atherosclerosis uh, that's how it forms you see VSMC migration because there is a stress going on here and you got platelet aggregation and adhesion going on because of the uh, ECM secretions and uh, also there's proliferation uh, going on in that area and that's why you don't want that and there is a role of macrophages over there and formation of foam cells and apoptosis apoptosis goes on there so lots of things are going on in that specific artery and that's why the plaque forms and that's why the heart muscle dies in that area due to lack of blood supply or nutrition in that specific area and that's what we don't want to happen you know because that's a cause of mortality that's the leading cause of mortality and that happens because of some risk factors like hypertension, hyperglycemia, and hyperlipidemia, and subsequent lipoprotein infiltration. And the infiltrating LDLs are oxidized to oxidative or, or oxidized LDLs, okay, and uh, which could be recognized by the transmembrane receptors. And then the macrophages and the VSMCs migrate to the intima, the internal uh, layer of that specific artery to take up the OXLDL and shifting the cell phenotype to a cell called foam cell. Foam cell recruitment and VSMC proliferation then contribute the formation of an unstable plaque 
and that's what leads to the vascular blockage and subsequent death of that cardiac tissue which we call cardiac ischemia and infarction subsequently and that's what we don't want and that's where berberine plays its role so that's the mechanism it's a huge publication I will post the link in the description of my video so please go over it because berberine inhibits those EC cells that I was showing in the previous pictures EC, EC M secretion is therefore you know reduced and that's what we want that yeah EC cell have anti proliferative and anti inflammatory function and maintain the homeostasis balance and we want that and berberine helps maintain that homeostasis in that specific area and EC cells are important in that atherosclerotic mechanism and it also protects the EC cells from the damage because as you can see in this picture that damage is the inciting event in the whole cascade and that's critical and that's why I love berberine I am uh, vouching for it actually and um, so and another effect is it has a role against VSMC's and VSMC's have a critical role in the atherosclerosis or the plaque formation because VSMC's are highly specialized cells and they have a principal role in several diseases such as atherosclerosis and hypertension and berberine may inhibit the adverse cellular behavior of VSMCs and that's why it influence the progression of cardiovascular disease and cardiovascular mortality potentially and that's the beauty and that's the beauty of berberine in that regard as well because it does have a curative effects on VSMCs as well and we want that beauty incorporated in our life because that's how we will protect the plaque formation and that's how we will prevent the cardiovascular mortality which is the leading cause of death around us we know we know this thing okay another important thing is these cells as I mentioned earlier are called macrophages and berberine affects these cells as well so berberine is coming from multiple directions so that might be a great benefit for berberine because you need multiple drugs already uh, for example blood thinners and lipid lowering drugs and all those things uh, for those cardiac patients but in case of berberine you have multi-directional approach and that's the perfect thing that we would love to see in the future uh, pharmacology as well as medicine to help the patients because macrophage function and phenotypic changes are what we are targeting in that mechanism okay because monocyte migration and plaque formation is also part of it and monocyte derived macrophages are a major promoter in the plaque formation and that's what we are targeting by taking berberine okay Again, this is a long, long, long discussion. Uh, if you have any questions, please talk to your primary doctor or your cardiologist. Also, ask me in the comment section. Me or somebody uh, expert would see that comment and answer you, okay? Uh, and uh, so majority of the studies have reported already that the ability of berberine to suppress the monocyte mobility is amazing. They have demonstrated this fact and it does the modulation of the macrophage phenotype change by suppressing that modulation okay it suppresses the monocyte mobility as well as modulate the macrophage phenotypic changes and suppresses the macrophage de derived foam cell formation that i was showing in this picture and that's how it helps in the atherosclerotic plaque formation this is a beautiful table and showing the effects that how uh, berberine uh, can affect different ways like monocyte recruitment down regulated how it does it the inflammatory factors all are listed in this table you can go over this table in detail and ask any questions that you may have okay uh, please like subscribe and share to my channel and spread the knowledge spread the awareness thank you so much have a great day bye bye